I'm Carthen Audio, and I stream over on Twitch under the same name. Come chill with me, yeah? Thanks. Enjoy the audio. Your guest has just departed, mistress. I saw them to the carriage myself, as you requested. He was rather... enthusiastic about meeting the much-rumored heir of the Delacy estate. I dare say he was rather taken with you. I agree. When he arrived, I believe he mistook your beauty for brainlessness, but you quickly cured him of that assumption. And with an impressive amount of restraint, I might add. His business dealings tie in quite neatly to the functions of this estate. The deal you broker today was most certainly a perceptive one. It will benefit both family properties well. You have shown a great deal of strength and maturity today, mistress. You are truly growing into a wise and formidable businesswoman. No, mistress. The gentry's derision is nothing more than a tactic to tear you down so they can crawl on their bellies like starving dogs to take a piece. The negotiation skills you exhibited today show that the Lady de Lacy is not an opponent to be taken lightly. Your composure today was quite suited to a person of your quality. I am pleased to see that your lessons have begun to take hold. As for the rest of the evening, shall I have Miss Holden ready your meal? I believe she has a fine selection of delicacies planned for you this evening. As you wish, mistress. Will you be taking your supper in the dining room, or...? On the veranda, of course. Wherever you are most comfortable, mistress. If you will excuse me, I will see to the preparations. Wine? Yes, mistress, I will select an appropriate vintage for you to enjoy with your meal. If I may, little miss, you seem quite flushed. Are you feeling well? Yes, perhaps. The evening air is cool and may be soothing to both body and mind. Please, allow me to escort you to the veranda so you can rest before dinner. I see. As you wish, mistress. Here you are, mistress. A very good year and well-aged suit this cool evening. I've also brought some fresh rolls and cheese for you to enjoy with your wine while you await your dinner. Do you find everything satisfactory, mistress? I agree. The sky is lovely tonight. I find I am particularly drawn to the horizon when twilight is approaching. The cool tones of the evening sky pressing down, tinged with the barest edges of pink. A beautiful moment of composure held as long as possible before the sky at last breathes its release and surrenders to the darkness. I must disagree, little miss. There is nothing wrong with surrendering to darkness for a time. All things need rest, whether from body, mind, or heart. Even the sun, powerful as it is, cannot remain in control all the time. And so, it relents, bound up by the moon which stands in the background ready to take its place when the sun can hold on no longer. That is true, 
There are some things which flourish at night in a way that never could in the light of day. But just because they must be restrained to the night does not make them any less powerful or beautiful. If you'll excuse me, mistress, I believe Miss Holden should be finished preparing your meal. I will return with your food directly. Are you ready for the next course, mistress? There's a lovely selection of butters and jams for your enjoyment this evening, should you wish. Though I am concerned that you hardly touched your meal. Was it not to your liking? You don't feel very hungry. Hmm. You still seem flushed despite the cool air, and you have been quite restless this evening. Should I send for a physician to have a look at you? Perhaps he could get to the core of what is causing you such spasmodic behavior. No need, if you insist, mistress. But I do hate to see you suffer without alleviation. Yes, it is nearly time to retire for the evening. I have already dismissed the staff to their final duties for the night, so I will personally see to any needs you have. Is there anything you wish before I leave you to your rest? Poetry. It has been a long time since we studied poetry, mistress, but I don't remember you having a fondness for it. Is there a particular book you wish me to fetch for you? You have it with you. The marked passage. Let's see. The Fairy Lover. I'm not sure this poem fits the standards of a lady of your standing. As you wish, little miss. They tell me I am cursed and I will lose my soul. O oh, red wind shrieking o'er the thorn ground dune. But he is my lover, and I go to him tonight, who rides when the thorn glistens white beneath the moon. He will call my name and lift me to his breast. Blow soft, O oh wind, neath the stars of the south. I care not for heaven, and I fear not hell. If I have but the kisses of his proud red mouth. A rather provocative choice of poetry, mistress. I can see that you are ready to retire. I believe you have completed your lessons and duties for the day, so I will have the maids draw the bath in your rooms tonight before I send the staff to their beds. Perhaps, in your room, you will finally be released from the silken cord of responsibility that has you bound during the day. Will you require anything further of me tonight, little miss? Mm. 